Guys, Three guys, of them are guys, free. guys. Touch, touch, touch. You know, there's what is called new wine. Now it's new wine. hands right here come on it's heavy on me right now it's heavy I gotta give it away or I'll blow up take the anointing in the name of the Lord somebody pick up that pastor and his wife show hands right here take the anointing People just lift your hands and ask God for a double portion. Just double it, Lord. Double it, Lord. Just lift your hands and love Him. Leukemia for two years. Bring, uh, bring, bring the child here. Her mama said that she's completely made whole. The she, mother said. The mother said. That's the mother in the red. She's four years old, has had leukemia for two. <laughs> Hallelujah! Whoa, pick up the mother. That, that little girl is crying. She's so grateful for God healing her daughter. Can we give the Lord a big shout of hallelujah, please? What happened to the girl? To the Pastor, this lady, the power of God is all over her. She has been living for the last 10 years on a toxic dump. They built her, house, they built her house on a toxic dump that she did not know about. It caused her to lose her hair. She's been spitting up blood for the last 10 years. Tumors, Thank pain, God. a major pain in her body. Wow. The power of God came upon her tonight. He's still upon her. All that pain has left her body. I she can, believes I can, God is completely I see it. Who's the big guy? You, you, you don't know. You think it's her son. I think too. It doesn't matter who is. He's gone now. Liposarcoma, Pastor, for 10 years. That's tumors. When you're up against a struggle that shatters all your dreams. 
What happened to her again? Liposarcoma. She's had it for 10 years. Tumors well, it's gone now. It's gone, John. Blood. John, it's it's fine now. She had cancer, had cancer, and had back surgery. She came in this wheelchair. She felt the strength oh, go Mary, through her body. Oh, Mary, my darling, Mary, <laughs> my darling, Mary. You're too occupied with details. That's my Lord also touched her, their daughter. Huh? That's her daughter. I'm glad you found I out. I found out. That's her daughter. She was in an automobile accident, had a head injury, but she feels like the Lord has touched her as well. Mary, come here. That's what you call thick oil. Just a little too thick right now. Just a little, a little thick right now. A little drunk right now. You know, there's what is called new wine. Now it's new wine. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I want some new wine tonight. Pastor, this is a family affair. This is the grandma, breast cancer, no pain. The daughter, scoliosis since birth, in constant pain. The other one, granddaughter, asthma. All hey, guys, three guys, of them are guys, free. Guys, guys, guys. It's like electricity here. Like electricity. What are you talking about? She had a terrible little growth on her wrist that caused a major pain in her body. But the power of God came on her night. It's reduced dramatically. It's not you, even can, hardly can, there. Can, can you see the way they're walking? Yeah, I know. It's the anointing of God on them. <laughs> Did you see her eyes? 